We're on our way to uh, the town centre in Swindon, the Brunel Plaza, and that's where we've got a number of our stations. Um, and in fact, we've got the first one, which is Jesus Enters Jerusalem. The whole purpose of Journey into Easter is to help people engage with the Easter story in a, in a new way. We um, would hope to get about um, 20,000 people through over the next uh, fortnight and they'll go down these stairs so everybody should see that. Uh, perhaps this one and, and that are the two that really sort of struck me as being just out the, of out the order. I think what's really good about this project is that it seems to have captured the imagination of both churches and the, the partners, the schools, the colleges, the other groups we've been involved in. And they've been very enthusiastic and I think it's opening avenues and connections that we haven't seen open before. I love the idea that you've got people interested in um, from different um, schools and yeah. different contacts. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, instead of having everything you know, where we do something for other people, what we've done is given our treasures and said, look, would you like to be part of it? Have a look at our Bible reading and draw some, you know, create something that's inspired by it. This picture was painted by the daughter of uh, one of the guys I cycle with and he said to me how much he's really enjoyed getting to grips with this project and this painting. And what strikes me about what George has done with Jesus Crucified, I mean, she's, it's a very dark painting. It really brings over the horror of what crucifixion is about. Derek, thank you very much for hosting some of our stations for the Easter Project. No, not at all. It's, it's great to be a part of it. And um, obviously it's great for our customers to see the artwork that's been generated by, by the young people and the local people of Swindon as well. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of these, um, the pictures? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, we, we uh, have worked quite a lot with the schools and colleges ourselves mm. to see what people can create when they able to use their imagination to express themselves is great and nowhere better to really exhibit it than the theatre because that's what we're about really, about in the arts. It's true, yeah. I was just talking with somebody in the library, um, one of the security guys, and just talking about the Easter story. He said, well to be honest, I don't know very much about the Easter story. Sure, sure. Well, no, I'm sure that these works will lead to a new audience as well. I'm sure they've also inspired the people making them to think more deeply about it as well. Art has the capacity to open our horizons. I remember talking to somebody in the Middle East in the pressures of living in Palestine, Israel, and he was saying that art is a crucial element of their life and how it helps to open their horizons and free them. And I guess I hope that as people spend time looking at the pieces produced for these stations, the Holy Spirit of God might open horizons, open minds, open hearts to God's message.